Good morning and welcome you to this briefing. A flash flood watch is in effect through today. Another inch of rainfall is possible across the flash flood watch area. And this could cause flooding of low water crossings. If you come to a flood low water crossing, remember these four words right here. Turn around, don't drown. That could save your life. But uh, with the rainfall we had yesterday, grounds are already saturated. And uh, what we're expecting is that upper low to move out over Mexico into the area. And that will bring periods of showers and maybe a few thunderstorms through today and tonight. And some of this rainfall will become locally heavy across the area. Here's the forecast of rainfall amounts. We're expecting anywhere from three quarters to an inch of rain across the Concho Valley, expanding to a half to a three quarter inch over the rest of the area, east to Brownwood and Brady. And then north and south, rainfall amounts become lighter as you see on this picture right here. Again, with the grounds already saturated, that flash flood watch remains in effect for areas mainly south of a line from Sterling City to San Angelo, south of Brownwood. Uh, any, anywhere in this area, uh, be careful if you have to be out in it. Current radar right now is showing uh, areas of light rain over a large part of the northern, northern Edwards Plateau and down across the Texas Hill Country, stretching on over to Austin and San Antonio. Uh, again, expect the radar to rainfall rates to continue to increase through today. And then for Sunday, the rain will end from west to east. Skies will also clear. And look for temperatures tomorrow to rebound into the middle 70s over most of the area. Maybe under the, where, the, where the clouds kind of remain in the afternoon, temperatures may not warm or get out of the lower 70s. All right, have yourself a great weekend. We'll talk to you later.